We mentioned previously that uh, there are differences between a scenario and campaign mode. One of the main differences is that in campaign you have a group of units that are following you from scenario to scenario and this group is called core units. Now we will uh, take a look how to manage those core units. So in manage units uh, screen uh, you have a review unit subscreen and uh, here you can see uh, all the units that you have at your disposal listed. Uh, as I mentioned previously, I'm uh, doing this uh, tutorial on an alpha build, so there are a few rough spots. Uh, you can see that this uh, line here is not where it should be, and uh, some things are not working, like uh, refresh, uh, menu refresh, you'll see that as we go. Uh, also, we'll uh, replace this uh, core uh, with an icon and uh, similar. But uh, you can see basically where this is going. So, uh, units that are core units are marked as core. This is, for example, HQ unit. Uh, HQ units are units that are lent to you by HQ, and after the scenario is done, uh, they get uh, returned to the uh, command, high command. Uh, as for the core units, uh, they, they continue to the next uh, scenario. Uh, you can see that uh, there are three core slots uh, uh, left remaining. Uh, this is because uh, on each map you have a limit of how many units uh, there can be simultaneously on your uh, side. Uh, it's simply because of the supply and uh, other considerations, uh, so th there is an, a, a limit cap uh, and uh, once you reach it, uh, you can only uh, deploy new units if you release an uh, existing unit or the unit gets destroyed. So you can release any unit back to HQ, uh, it will uh, free up a core slot and also uh, give you back some of the influence spent. So if we for example select this infantry and click release, uh, you see that uh, the unit will uh, get released. Uh, as mentioned, uh, influence and core slots uh, didn't refresh, but if we uh, close and open the screen you will see that uh, it changed. Uh, also uh, you can uh, purchase units, uh, you simply select uh, which unit class uh, you want, uh, pick up a unit type uh, and uh, purchase and uh, unit will be added uh, to your units. As, as mentioned we need to uh, refresh this. Each unit has a unit commander. Uh, they can be accessed uh, through this menu as well. So if we click commanders, you will see uh, which commander is assigned to the unit. Uh, commanders uh, get uh, created with some uh, traits. Uh, those are, let's say, um, more important um, parts of the uh, commander. Uh, this is something that you are born with and rarely change. Uh, each uh, trait has a number of skills assigned to it and uh, uh, once you have a trait uh, and level up you can uh, pick uh, a skill from a list of skills that are assigned to that trait. Uh, or you can pick a new trait or a new skill or choose to level up an existing skill, usually up to level 3. Uh, as you can see, here are some uh, traits here. Uh, also, uh, each commander has uh, one or uh, zero to few uh, flaws. Uh, it depends on the competence level and also a uh, list of skills that uh, usually give uh, nice bonuses to the unit. So as you can see, you either get initiative bonus or uh, some other uh, bonus that uh, can be used uh, on the battlefield. Uh, also you can at any uh, point uh, choose to uh, replace a commander, it uh, costs influence uh, and also um, you will notice that uh, commanders uh, that uh, you can choose from have different levels of competence. Um, Commanders that uh, have a higher competence uh, have uh, less uh, flaws and more traits and skills and also a uh, chance of getting a competent and above competent uh, commander 
are uh, dependent of the time of uh, date of the war so later in the war there's a much higher chance of getting uh, competent uh, co and above commanders so if we for example choose the competent commander we of course don't see anything until we uh, confirm the replace and uh, uh, now we see that it's pretty poor commander with only uh, one trait and no skills but uh, we can also uh, find uh, some we can uh, see that uh, the better the commander uh, more skills and uh, traits are present we will talk about HQ help uh, menu next uh, this menu uh, simply gives you uh, sort of like um, uh, ability to call uh, your command and ask for favors and it will uh, cost you influence so some of the options that we have here is uh, for example uh, supply of the units so uh, this is the list of unit, units that are not supplied so you can uh, pick any unit and choose either to supply normally or by air uh, cost will differ uh, each uh, truck turned a uh, unit is away from the supply source which will cost you more and supply by air is always uh, fixed but very expensive uh, other thing that you can uh, do is uh, you can uh, get in info on the enemy so you can see how much influence enemy has uh, what is the troop position and also uh, troop composition so it will uh, show you all the info uh, this is uh, still uh, in development so for example uh, troop position will uh, show you uh, type of unit if uh, you have uh, some uh, general skills uh, uh, that is skills of your general that will uh, give you uh, more info uh, and uh, also uh, you can uh, see uh, troop composition and uh, stuff like that here uh, another thing that uh, you can do uh, you can also scout map so you can uh, pick any part of the map and uh, it will uh, send us out plane to reveal the this location uh, also uh, you you can increase the number of transports available so uh, in some maps for example invasion maps or uh, similar you will have access to transport planes uh, transport ships and the like uh, some of those are assigned automatically for free at the beginning of scenario but if you for example uh, like to adjust your playstyle to include more uh, paratroopers you can buy more transport planes and uh, similar and also you have a review campaign uh, this shows you how many units have been destroyed and uh, the losses taken <laughs> 